Well, out in the garage tonight, I uh, need to build a part for my Capra, need a panhard mount for the axle side on some Vanquish axles, designed this up in Fusion, took and 3D printed it, 3D printed one just doesn't quite hold up too super well, so we're going to mill it out and turn some stuff of it out on the lathe, uh, just starting to drill the first hole which is two and a half millimeters so that we can take and tap that for a three millimeter thread. After drilling the two and a half millimeter hole, um, now I need to drill out a couple eighth inch holes to start off where the rest of it will be at. So I have to go from there down 7.1 millimeters over to the left 3 millimeters then over to the right 9.36 millimeters. Uh, most time you would measure do that by hand. I have a digital readout that tells me where it is at. So all I have to do is watch that and get exactly where I need. Um, I have a G0704 mil, um, just did a belt drive conversion on it today um, by Chris, along with a 1.5 horsepower Y366 motor and a Durapulse GS20 VFD. Setup went super good. It's crazy how much quieter this thing runs compared to what it used to do. No vibrations hardly. Um, Plus I got an extra, I think it's three inches or so. Next is get set up with the uh, CNC portion of this. That way I could just hit the G code and make it do it all itself instead of doing it like this. So zeroing out my location so I can go down 7.1 millimeters. This is just a chunk of one inch steel stock. Um, most of this piece is not gonna be here once I get done with it. After this, I'm gonna drill and tap the hole, put a screw in there so I can throw it on the lathe to turn down the outer portion of what I need and to get rid of most of the meat of this part. That hole's drilled, zero the X, and we have to go 9.36 over. And that hole's drilled. So now we can remove this part out of here. And we have start of the piece. Next is to turn it down the depth of two and a half millimeters at eight millimeters round for the upper part. Not sure how many people are familiar with the different style taps. This is a uh, straight flute cut tap. They work okay. They really kind of suck. Um, they push all your chips down and they make small fine chips when if you run a drill bit you see that you have long stringy chips so this is another style this is a spiral flute tap I don't think it'll focus on it um, these work a lot nicer for most stuff 
Uh, they're usually a bit more expensive, but when you tap a lot of holes, they're really nice to have compared to the others. Always remember to use a little bit of cutting oil. Helps it go a lot easier. Kind of hard to see, but... See the long strings coming out of it, just like as if you were drilling it out. You don't have to go forwards and backwards with these style taps to keep it going. These are also taking pull the tips up instead of pushing them through. So if you're tapping a blind hole, you don't have to worry about it. That should be more than deep enough right there. And after a whole bunch of pushing it back and forth, finally getting it pretty close to lined up, we can now take and face off the entire thing first. Should have been using a different style for doing cross cuts, especially so heavy. But I've gotten lucky on my little lathe, I guess, but not in this one. Now, I mean, it's not perfect, because obviously it's not CNC, so I can't cut it too exact, but just got to cut the back side of it off now, and should be all good to go. So I didn't get to uh, finish recording, cutting off the back side of it. Uh, I was on phone call for a bit, so I didn't record everything. Um, got it all cut off. Uh, then I went and mounted it up. Fit perfect. Everything sits where it should. And this one shouldn't break anymore. Thanks for watching. If you guys want me to make this style content, let me know.